What's up, man? Justin's not here right now, man. So he had me come over and like, you know, hold down the fort and whatever, man. So uh, I don't know what in the world y'all guys usually do, man. So uh, he wanted me to tell y'all before he gets here that y'all are a bunch of bad uh, assholes or something like that. But uh, whatever, man. He just told me to tell y'all some shit, let y'all a bunch of assholes. So, without further ado, man, I, I think I hear him coming. So, I'm going to turn it over to him, man. I hope y'all enjoyed, man, my segment. I'm over there at the uh, Vape, Vape and Smoke Shop, man. Just ask for Dwayne. That's me, man. No, not that Dwayne. The other Dwayne. Whatever, man. Later, dude. What's up, you badasses? Welcome back. Another episode. Here we are. Almost episode 30, man. Can you believe that? Episode 30. 30 videos. There's going to be some big changes coming. I'm going to be starting some new sub-channels. Stuff that's in here. Uh, I've spent a lot of time looking at things that have worked on this channel and some of the things that you guys really liked. And some of the things that really didn't work very well at all. So I'm looking at all these various things and wondering what exactly is going on. And, um, so one of those things that really seemed to do well was reviews with these with you guys. Reviews have always been something that I I personally enjoy doing them. I like doing reviews, and so yeah, I think that's something that we need to explore more of. So instead of also, instead of doing uh, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we're going to just be doing three videos a week. Uh, those videos could come at any time during the week. I've found myself being on a schedule. Uh, it's really, really hard to do a schedule with my kind of lifestyle. I'm at work sometimes till really late at night, and sometimes I don't get home until like 10 or 11 o'clock, sometimes midnight. And by the time I come home and I post a video, it's already the next day. And even though I might get home an hour before midnight, if I promise you guys a video on Monday, I want it to come on a Monday. I don't want you guys to be disappointed. Uh, this channel is all about you. This channel isn't about me and why I do what I do. I do what I do for two people, two groups of people. One, I do it for the hairdressers. I do it for the guys out there and the girls who appreciate what I do as hairdressers. I talk about things in our industry that maybe some people aren't talking about. I, I you know, don't do hair tutorials and whatnot on this page. This is about our industry. Uh, I like to do comedy and skits. So that's who I am. I talk about things within the industry and I tackle sometimes serious issues. I talk about products that you guys use, products that maybe you don't use, you wanna know more about. I also talk about different things in our industry that surround our industry. Is reach a group of people that don't know anything about hairdressing and they just wanna see who I am as a person and why I do what I do. I do what I do to create things. I do what I do to make people feel beautiful. I do what I do to make people feel the most awesome they can be. I've always said, change your hair, change your life. So if you change one little aspect about your hair or just one little aspect of your appearance, it can change your whole life. Even if it's just for a minute, an hour, a day, a week, a month, a year, whatever it is, it can change your entire life. I've seen people get a haircut that I've given them and go on and, and, and get the new position at their job, become the CEO of a company start a new YouTube channel and be a whole new person. I've seen a girl who was down in her luck in a modeling career and all of a sudden wake up one day and she's like the number one girl in her industry. So I love all that. I'm, gonna do, I'm still going to do reviews. We're just going to have an episode and randomly I'll decide, hey, this is a product review. So I, if I do three of them a week, hey, cool. If I do three how-tos, or if I mix it up and do two how-tos on a product review, doesn't matter. Uh, but I think that's the way I'm going to do it from now on. It just seems that getting videos out there late, I don't like that for you guys. This is about you, and I don't want to be late for you. I want you to expect a video, and when to expect it, three days a week. You will get three different videos, and I'll try to space them out. 
uh, go to Walgreens and CVS, and I've talked about products from there, and it's it's pretty funny because you can find the most bizarre stuff there. But I'm going to compare um, two different beard stuff today. Do you like beards? Do you have a beard? I have a beard. It's about to come off. I'm sick of it. And it's hot in Houston. It's just not good. So, I'm going to review two different things. First is beard guys. Beard, do you see that guys? Yeah. This is a beard balm. Now this is the beard balm 25. There's a beard balm 35 which when I showed the picture or whatever, I think that was the Beard Balm 35. There's really no difference. Uh, it says estimated in 1995. I don't know if that's true. I have no idea. It's made by a company called Barrett uh, Universal Beauty Products. So Beard Balm 25 provides you with just the right conditioning for the well-groomed beard. The blend of conditioning, butters, oils, and extracts create the right balance of moisturizers and conditioners. It's quickly absorbed into your beard and skin does not leave a greasy feeling. Okay. So basically after washing with your whatever shampoo, it says to towel dry and then take two fingers and rub them onto the top of the beard balm in a circular motion. As the butters melt, apply a little at a time to your beard, making sure to massage for maximum benefits. Pay special attention to the outline of your beard. Comb or brush the style. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm just gonna take a wild guess as to what this smells like. God, fucking pine. I swear to God, fucking pine. Pine and Vaseline, that's awesome. Why, why, why does every beard product. Okay, well I'm noticing right off the bat this stuff is really, really greasy looking. It's got like almost like a layer of something really greasy on the top. It said take two fingers. It's like butter, I guess. It kind of looks like butter. You guys see that? It's kind of gross. A little bit. Just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my beard. but I feel real real greasy this is kind of gross stuff is like dude it's like greasy man I'd be greased up like an otter on a toboggan so the verdict is beard guys beard balm 25 yeah it, it uh, it's not that great um, I had to wash my hands if I was somewhere and I was just like wanting to have something quick to put on, I wouldn't recommend this stuff at all. Because for one, this stuff, if you have it in a hot car, yeah, man, don't have it anywhere hot. This stuff would melt in seconds. I mean, I'm in a, a pretty cool environment and it already looks kind of melty. So I can't imagine what it would, it would probably explode in my car. So yeah, man, don't carry it in your backpack or anything. This stuff would be everywhere, bro. Uh, it looks like it's made with some kind of glycerin or, or something. I mean, I can feel it on my face, but it just leaves this greasy residue all over my face. The second I touch my face, I got a big handful of like greasiness and it doesn't feel good. Now, it dissipates sort of quickly, but I mean, it's still in there. So and it's not really, I, I don't feel like it's softening my beard that much. This stuff might be good if you took a Q-tip and you kind of like massage it in, but once again, you'd still have the greasiness factor. If you hugged somebody, some trick you like, you don't want to like come up off her shirt and she's got a big grease stain from your beard crap, right? So this is a no-go for me. You know, thank you for playing Try Again. Uh, you know, and I'm not just saying the stuff to push my product, guys. There's a lot of beard stuff and beard oils that I absolutely love um, from the store and otherwise. And there's just some that are just not, you know, too great. Rootsol is an, an amazing uh, product. Uh, I thoroughly recommend actually the Rootsol pomade for your beard. It didn't leave my beard greasy at all. I felt great. Um, and there's a couple other ones out there you guys should definitely try. 
Um, but yeah, no go on beard, guys. Sorry. Um, plus, it smells like a big pine cone with Vaseline mixed into it. So yeah, I'm gonna review my stuff. So this is a beard oil called Beard Balm. Can you guys see that? You guys check that out, Beard Balm. I had a couple of ladies who asked me who this dude was. No, you cannot have a date with him. He's my friend. So this is my beard comb. And if you buy this in my kit, this is my Justin Todd beard comb. So I'm going to explain to you guys how this works, okay? You're going to get this just like this. It's going to come in a tray with a pouch. Uh, if you order this by itself, this is all you're going to get, okay? Um, you won't get the pouch with it. If you want an optional pouch, the only way to get the pouch is in the Beard Reaper kit. So if you go to jtodindustries.com, you can go ahead. The link is down below. So you can order one of these. If you order one of these through the Beard Reaper kit, you will get this leather pouch that goes in your pocket for free. Okay? So what you want to do is you're going to pop the beard comb out of the tray. Okay? Once that's out, you're going to take your Beard Balm uh, or your limited edition Beard Petroleo. You're going to undo it and you're going to use the dropper to squeeze up some beard oil in there. And you're going to put three drops. Now once the oil is in there, you're going to take your beard comb and you're just going to kind of mush it back and forth. Really kind of soak it up. The wood's going to soak that stuff right up. This is a special type of wood and it really gets up into the wooded area and you're going to use it to comb your beard. Really kind of straighten it out, okay? And you're gonna go through, it's a very soft wood. It feels great. It does not feel rough. Yeah, anyway, um, there you go. And then what you'll do is you'll put it back in your leather pouch, like so, okay? And then you'll keep it in your pocket until it's ready for the next go round. Now, I'll tell you, you don't have to worry about the greasy mess. You don't have to worry about leakage. Uh, once you use it on your beard, it'll dissipate. And any product that's left on the beard, here's what's cool about that. You can go to the restroom. Let's say you're at the movies and your beard's looking a mess. You can go ahead and go to the movies and run a little water at, in the bathroom. Brush your beard. That oil will reactivate inside here. You know what I mean? So... It's a handy little tool to have. Uh, I like it, and it's pretty compact, pretty small. You can put this in your front pocket, your back pocket, whatever, and it's you know not gonna worry about snapping into you. It's not fragile. It's pretty tough stuff. Um, and plus, on the back it says "Enjoy the wood." I mean, come on, what's not to like? Yeah. Well, um, as always, in case you forgot, in case you just don't remember. You're a badass. So, Justin signing off, man. Happy birthday to you.